All right, what's going on YouTube? Excellent to see you. Bring you guys another video back up here on the channel. All right, today I got the best settings in Warzone that you guys should try out and see if this can improve your gameplay at all. Before we get into anything, if you guys do want to see more content, my Facebook page will be linked in the description below. I upload exclusive content, including daily live streams that will be starting once Rebirth returns. I know you guys have been asking me about live streams for the longest time ever, and finally I'm getting around to doing it. And of course, if you guys enjoy content, man, and you guys want to just subscribe for free, you guys can do so. Make sure you guys turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss any future uploads. It takes like two seconds. And yeah, man, before we waste any more time, we're going to hop right into the video. Let's get right to it, man. I'm going to probably break this up into a couple parts here. The timestamps will most likely be in the description below. I'm going to quickly cover some graphic settings here on PC. So I know a lot of you guys might be playing on PC. I know a lot of you guys might not be. So I want to kind of cover both just so I can get the best of both worlds. I'm only playing on 1080p for Caldera. When I do play uh, Rebirth Island, I do play 1440. I do have a 1440p monitor. So it is a lot better when that is happening. But uh, Caldera is a lot of a bigger map and I want to get the most frames as I possibly can. You guys can just pause the screen. The only thing I would really recommend you guys do is just turn on your NVIDIA reflex low latency to I do the enable plus boost to kind of just kill all latency altogether. Uh, but yeah, everything is pretty standard throughout here. Uh, the only thing that I would really recommend is going into uh, quality, turning your FOV obviously to 120 and then uh, uh, affected FOV, pretty, pretty obvious. Then if you guys are interested in any of my uh, textures and stuff like that it is just all on the screen here i will briefly just scroll down here you guys can just pause the video screenshot it do whatever you guys want to do i'm not going to really cover this too too much just because i know a lot of people are, are on console still and not a lot of people really benefit from these pc settings all right for my audio i actually rock boost high i know this game can be very very loud sometimes but even at that there's still an audio issue happening i don't know if it's just with the caldera update or whatever the case may be but i cannot hear footsteps for the life of me i don't know if it's just me oh actually i know for a fact it's not just me i see a ton of other people like streamers and stuff complaining about it but anyways boost high is what i use my master volumes at 30 music completely kill that because why not everything else is just basically default in here uh I know there was an issue with the voice chat on PC here not working for like death comms and stuff like that. I managed to get it fixed. Just check your sound settings and make sure everything is uh, proper in there. I know it is a little messed up after the update. All right, and finally, this is what you guys probably clicked on the video for is the controller settings. For my button layout, I just do tactical. Uh, I don't play tactical flipped. Now, I used to play tactical flip, but I've kind of switched up. I kind of play pretty unorthodox. I actually use DS4 Windows to kind of remap my buttons. And I'll, I'll briefly show you guys how I hold my controller just by picking up one of my other scuff controllers or my battle beaver here. So I would aim, I aim in with L1 here, and then I actually shoot with R2. I know that's pretty weird because I hold my controller like this. It's not claw, it's like half claw since I do have like the buttons on the back. So I aim in like this and then I just hold my controller like this so I can have my, my thumb over my triangle button to swap weapons to reload and all that and then i still jump and knife with my uh my back buttons or my paddles on my scuff i just have it plugged in and i can't show you but the battle beaver is very similar to that but yeah i literally just hold my controller like this and i'm able to like touch my d-pad reload all that stuff and then yeah i still jump and uh, knife with the buttons on the back just what i'm used to you guys might not have the same luxuries that i do but that's just what i'm used to like i just said but i do recommend you guys play on tactical regardless default is kind of just like not good anymore like it hasn't been good for years now and once you get used to tactical i promise you'll become a better player all right, my horizontal and vertical stick sensitivities are both at 18, and then I turn my ADS sensitivity multiplier down to a 0.5. Now, this allows me to like look around and move around very fast, and then when I am aiming down sights, it is nice controlled. We're not going to be missing too many shots just because this will tune it down to like a normal sensitivity that I'm used to playing on for like a very long time. Like I'm talking years that I played on like a low sense, but I actually think it's more beneficial to play on like an 1818 and then just like turn down your ads sensitivity multiplier just because i just feel like uh you just get the best of both worlds it's like you're playing on keyboard and mouse and then you have all like the benefits of playing on controller like it's just a no-brainer to me that's just what i like to do you guys don't have to copy it this is just like a rough outline of maybe what you guys should try out to kind of benefit your play style especially if you already play on a high sense if you guys are missing your shots maybe tuning down this ads sensitivity multiplier will help you hit those shots especially at those longer distances all right from my aim response curve i actually play on linear i know a lot of people play on dynamic i myself 
12 played on dynamic for the longest time but after i went to vanguard and then came back to warzone it just felt very like weird to me so i just got used to playing linear again uh dynamic and linear is really not that different i don't play standard i really wouldn't recommend playing standard at all it's just i definitely feel like dynamic is the best one uh but i like i said i'm used to linear so if you guys play on linear copy these stats or these settings i should say and uh, yeah, you might be able to do pretty well. Aim assist on, it's just standard. Now, I've seen a lot of people say to turn this off. When I turned this off, I felt like I was just missing a lot of shots. So I just left it on. I don't really fully understand what it does. It just scales the aim assist to the FOV that you're playing on. And if you have this disabled, if you're playing at 120 FOV, you're going to get like 80 FOV aim sensitivity or, or aim, aim, aim assist or whatever that whatever the case may be i really don't fully understand it i just leave it on because when i have it off like i just said it feels like i'm missing a crazy amount of shots and i end up dying too much to it so that's why i leave it i leave it on it's not a big deal do whatever you got to do i don't even know if this is a console thing i think this is just a um a pc thing so if you guys are on console just completely ignore that but yeah everything else in here is pretty standard uh contextual tab make sure you throw that on especially for warzone armor plate behavior apply all definitely throw that on the movement here is definitely what you really want to focus in on make sure you guys have tap to slide and then also make sure that you have automatic tax print on your movement will just be so crazy like this also make sure you turn off parachute auto deploy it allow you just to manually pull your parachute and get to the ground a lot faster Faster. other than that there's really not too many things in here that i switch up from a, or like a normal kind of uh, default in here uh, there's a few things like this one and the auto tax printer definitely the two biggest things that you want to take from this video but yeah all right man that is going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed it man thank you guys all for the support on the channel like i said daily live streams and exclusive content on my facebook page go check that out man it's been excellent i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out man